Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, it's official. Uh, Mr. Prigozhin and his mercenary group called Wagner decided to change course and uh, stay put in Bakhmut and stay put in Bakhmut. <laughs> Poet. <laughs> Instinctually. And um, keep fighting because he was promised um, ammunition. And I have here an um, article coming from Reuters where Mr. Um, Prigozhin, Yevgeny Prigozhin, is going to say that, that we're here to stay, the ammunition is coming. So, let's see what uh, Mr. Prigozhin has to say. So, Reuters, head of Russia's Wagner Group, we are beginning to get needed ammunition. So, this article is from May 8, 2023. The head of the Russia's mercenary Wagner Group said on Monday his troops are beginning to receive ammunition needed to press their advance to capture the long-besieged eastern Ukrainian city of Bakhmut. And I'm quoting. Today, the groups advanced a maximum of 130 meters, which is 400 feet. Fierce fighting is going on, but the groups are continuing to advance, end quote. Yevgeny Prigozhin said in an audio message posted on social media. And I'm quoting again, according to preliminary data, we are starting to receive ammunition. We have not yet seen it in practice, end quote. Prigozhin said Ukrainian forces were confined to an area of about 2.36 square kilometers, which is 0.9 square miles in the town. Bakhmut have been under Russian attacks, attack for more than nine months, with Wagner's spearheading repeated attempts to advance on what once was a city of 70,000 people. Ukrainian commanders have vowed to keep their hold on the city despite a Russian drive to take it in time for Tuesday's Victory Day holiday, marking the defeat of Nazi Germany. This is only in Ukrainians' heads, just so you know. Only in Ukrainians' heads, the Russians uh, drive to take it in time for that. This is according to the Ukrainians and other witch doctors who think that they know what the Russians plan. I haven't heard any Russian, any, any, stating that, hey, we got to take it by then. Uh, I understand that the superstitious minds of uh, people who live in the past, about 2,500 years in the past, they like to think that way, that uh, you know, symbolis symbolism still plays a very important role. It does, for certain people, is true. But in this case, and not only in this case, but the Russians, so far for me, proved, you like it or not, uh, proved that they have a cool head. That means not very, oh, we gotta, it's the 24th of February 2023, let's mark the anniversary and finish it. This is the second time the same people from Ukraine come and tell us that the uh, Russians push forward to uh, occupy Bakhmut by the 24th of February 2023. Well, because as Reznikov, the Minister of Defense of Ukraine said the Russians love symbolism. It's kind of like stereotyping, isn't it? Which I'm okay with, I guess. Uh, anyway, this is what Reznikov said. Did it happen? No, not because they didn't want to, it's because they were not able. So the same right now, they have one more day. Actually, it's not one more day because over there is already morning of the 9th, which they are late. So what's going to happen? Are going to a few commanders or what? Again, this is just to create, how should I put it, man? It's like I play with uh, another team, against another team. We're losing badly. And I tell my guys, guys, don't worry. They're gonna, it's, it's only 10-0 for them. But they plan to do it 50-0. So <laughs> we're winning, man. We're winning. It's just 10 to 0. And they wanted to make it 50 to 0. So yeah, give me five, give me whatever. This is basically what these guys say. And they set the post. They say, oh, it's 50-0. Not those guys. Oh, we're going to do it by... They, 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 will, they want to do it by uh, February 24th. Mm -mm. They don't say it. We said it. 
And when they did it, yeah, we stopped them. Yeah. See? They didn't even say it. What are they talking about? The same. Oh, they wanted by no by uh, April 9th. They wanted. They will not do it. Yeah, see, we stopped them. But they didn't say that's the goal. That's the goal is to take it. And I guarantee you that they will take it. So but that's the way you, you form, you know, yes, we're gonna do it. Um, another thing is um, is this. Um, you need to know, I mean, regarding uh, Prigozhin. I think these guys, m maybe that's, uh, no, that's a fire. If you see smoke, that must be a fire somewhere. The problem with uh, Prigozhin came out and said he needs ammunition and he's gonna quit. He's gonna take his forces out of Bakhmut and all that. Now, I do not know if that was or how much of that was to the Ukrainians head, heads or just, you know, really that was the problem. Why? As I explained in another video a while ago, um, the psychological pain is greater, is bigger if you take something back that you've given than not giving it at all. So if someone gives you for nothing, let's say a, a Mercedes Benz, or whatever it gives you, a good car, and it gives it to you. And then it says, you know what, I'm gonna take it back after you drive it a few days. That pain, or maybe a more to get used to it, if I take it back, it's gonna hurt you much more than I wouldn't have given it to you in the first place. That, that's how we do it. That's how we do it. So depriving you of something that you already got hurts more than something that I didn't give it to you yet. Well, I don't have it, I don't have it. But once I give it to you and you enjoy it, so the same. This guy, oh, we're gonna leave, we're gonna leave, we're gonna leave. And then, oh no, we're coming back. Oh, shit. I remember when I was uh, uh, in high school, this happened in high school many times, where you have like uh, a, a teacher would not show up for class or something, was sick. And you would hear people saying, hey, we have a free hour. The teacher doesn't show up. Yes, before that, we were like, all right gonna go to class you know and someone will come and tell us no class let's go play football yeah soccer yeah let's go play blah, 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 blah. and you see the teacher coming or someone say no man I saw the teacher walking in the school Fuck. now that pain was created after the euphoria euphoria we're gonna play football man yeah and you know but before it was nothing well, we're gonna go to class like normal so same here that could be a psychological uh, punch in the face for the Ukrainians. Actually, you know what? We're coming back. We got ammunition now. Shit! Ugh. You know, sometimes uh, you know, good news and then you bad news destroy the good news so badly that uh, flattens you. I don't know if that was a psychological thing or not. The guys in Ukraine, the Ukrainians have to fight anywhere over any way. But you know, you feel a little bit like... <sighs> All right, we'll see. He's back. They're back. And if they're not coming back, then we have Kadyrov. If Kadyrov shows up, you're... <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.